scientists discovered a strange new planet orbiting the closest star to our sun. But it wasn't a happenstance, happy-go-lucky discovery. It was a time-consuming and meticulous task that took the better part of a decade. The great abolitionist and visionary Frederick Douglass, who was certainly not an astronomer, but was wise enough to create a legendary adage that proves relevant and accurate throughout the ages and in all aspects of various fields, said, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. And with this proverb, scientists have spent many long years discovering that large object that was floating around our solar system's closest neighbor sun, called Proxima d. Prepare for some close encounters and stay tuned in until the end, as some shocking discoveries are brought to the forefront for the masses. This newly discovered planet, labeled Proxima d, is the third planet found orbiting Proxima Centauri, which is a red dwarf star about 4.24 light years from our glorious yellow radiated sun. Unfortunately, since Proxima d is closer to its red dwarf star than Mercury is to our sun, astronomers reckon it's too unlikely to host liquid water. Yet astonishingly, it has gained the number one spot as the lightest exoplanet ever discovered. As a matter of fact, Proxima d is just a quarter of the mass of Earth. It orbits its sun, Proxima Centauri, from 2.4 million miles, or 4 million kilometers, and completes an orbit in just five Earth days. According to the experts, low-mass planets, such as Proxima d, are expected to be the most abundant in our galaxy and could potentially host life. With this discovery came a sensation of relief as astronomers are ecstatic to find Earth-like planets. A team of astronomers used the Eschel spectrograph for rocky exoplanets and stable spectroscopic observations, which is simply known as ESPRESSO, is an instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope or ESO's VLT in the Atacama Desert in Chile, South America. With the help of this tool and the ESO's VLT, it took over two years of observations to find Proxima d. Researcher Joao Faria of the Instituto de Astrofísico y Ciencia do Espaco of Portugal and lead author of the study published in Astronomy and Astrophysics was quoted saying, our closest stellar neighbor seems to be packed with interesting new worlds within reach of further study and future exploration. Proxima d was found using the radial velocity of the host star. To be clear, the radial velocity of an object with respect to a given point is the rate of change of the distance between the object and the point. So, the radial velocity is the component of the object's velocity that points in the direction of the radius connecting the point and the object. Is that definition lucid? Well, let's put it this way. A star wobbles if there are planets in orbit because they all orbit a common center of mass. And that's how astronomers found Proxima d. Pedro Figuera, espresso instrument scientist at ESO in Chile, claims that this achievement is extremely important. It shows that the radial velocity technique has the potential to unveil a population of light planets. So far, the vast majority of exoplanets found are super-Earths, mini-Neptunes, and hot Jupiters. These findings clearly show Espresso's capabilities, and it makes the space expert community anticipate its future findings. Researcher and author Faria went on to espouse, after obtaining new observations, we were able to confirm this signal as a new planet candidate. I was excited by the challenge of detecting such a small signal and, by doing so, discovering an exoplanet so close to Earth. The discovery of Proxima d follows the earlier discovery by astronomers of two other planets around Proxima Centauri, known as Proxima b and Proxima c. Proxima b is an Earth-mass planet that orbits the star every 11 days and is within the habitable zone. Remember that the habitable zone is the region around a star where it is not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface of surrounding planets. So, astronomers are definitely keeping a close eye on Proxima b. As for Proxima c, scientists are still anticipating discovering more, which is no easy feat, because Proxima c takes over five years to orbit its star. Scientists do know, however, that it is a super-Earth, or mini-Neptune, and it lies outside the habitable zone. Since a super-Earth and mini-Neptune have been mentioned twice in this presentation, it's vital that all listeners are up to speed with the terminology. A super-Earth is a class of planets that are much more massive than Earth, yet lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. Super-Earths are often made of gas, 
rock or a combination of both. They are between twice the size of Earth and up to 10 times its mass. Neptunian planets typically have hydrogen and helium dominated atmospheres and are about four times the size or radius of Earth and almost 17 times its mass or weight. Neptunian exoplanets may have a mixture of interiors, though all would be rocky with heavier metals at their cores. Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to our Sun at 4.22 light years away. It is home to at least two planets and massive solar flares. Yet this has changed due to the discovery of Proxima d. The red dwarf star known as Proxima Centauri isn't visible to the eye, but it's one of the most recognized stars in the cosmos. That's due to the fact that Alpha Centauri's star system is also home to three known stars and the closest stellar system to our golden sun. Of the three stars in Alpha Centauri, scientists believe Proxima is closest to us Earthlings. There's quite the confusion around Proxima Centauri, however. Usually, when stars are so close to Earth, they appear bright in our sky. For example, the star Sirius, which is located in the constellation Canis Major, is the brightest star in Earth's sky. But this star is twice the distance from Earth than Proxima Centauri at about 8.6 light years away. So it's very peculiar why Proxima Centauri isn't brighter in our sky as it's just at 4.22 light years away. And as previously mentioned, Proxima isn't even visible to the naked eye alone. Well, truth be told, Proxima Centauri is just too small for our naked eyes to register. It's a red dwarf star, which is actually one of the most common sorts of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. It contains only about an eighth of our sun's mass. The faint red Proxima Centauri is only 3,100 Kelvin, which burns at 5,100 degrees Fahrenheit or 2,800 Celsius, whereas our golden sun, commonly known as Sol, burns at 5,778 Kelvin, which is an astounding 500 times brighter than Proxima Centauri. To spot Proxima, Earthlings should head to the Southern Hemisphere. From there, look in the direction of the constellation Centaurus the Centaur. Proxima is nearly a fifth of a light year from Alpha Centauri A and B. Because it's so far from the two primary stars, some scientists question whether it's really part of the star system. All of these nearby stars of Proxima, Alpha Centauri A and B, and our Sun orbit together around the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Just relatively recently, in 2016, the European Southern Observatory, or ESO as previously mentioned, announced the discovery of Proxima D's brother, Proxima B, which is orbiting Proxima Centauri at a distance of roughly 4.7 million miles, or about 7.5 million kilometers, with an orbital period of approximately 11.2 Earth days. According to studies, its mass is at least 1.3 times that of the Earth. As for the best notion of Proxima B, it is within the habitable zone of its star. And for the bitter part of this scenario, a 2017 study suggests that the X planet does not have an atmosphere akin to Earth. Then, three years later, scientists announced that they had discovered a second planet orbiting the star, and it was dubbed Proxima C. This second planet of Proxima is a lot larger than Earth and orbits its star every 1,907 days. It orbits at about 1.5 times the distance from its star than Earth orbits from the Sun. Therefore, it's surely not within the habitable zone. As a matter of fact, this entire solar system is very volatile. Any planets around Proxima Centauri have to contend with massive flares that pop off the Red Dwarf, which could very easily spell doom for the rocks rotating around the Red Dwarf. In April of 2021, astronomers noted a flare or burst of radiation from Proxima that registered to be 100 times more powerful than any flare seen from our Sun. This mega flare ranks as one of the most violent ever seen on a solitary star anywhere in the galaxy. So it's an understatement to say that these flares on Proxima could definitely doom chances for life on its planets. Yet astronomers like R.O. Park Lloyd of Arizona State University espouses notions of hope for life on these planets. He said the verdict for life could actually go either way. On the one hand, the flares will eventually decimate a planet's atmosphere. But on the other hand, it's possible that flares could provide the spark life. The events that could happen around Proxima are endless, and through all the discoveries, you can rely on Space Infinity to provide updated reports for all the adamant stargazers of our world. To keep updated with all the shocking developments of Earthlings' space endeavors, be sure to tap that like button, subscribe to Space Infinity, 
ring the notification bell, and share this video.